Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. It is November 12th, 2015. So I just wanted to come on here and I want to share with you um, a couple dreams that I had. And the first one, I didn't know if it meant anything at the time because um, it happened right after I had another dream that the Lord was um, showing me something, you know, that was um, for me. And so, in this dream, at the end, I didn't understand it. I'm like, God, like, what is this? What are you showing me now? Like, this has nothing to do with the, the first part. And so, and so last night, I was um, taking a bath, and I was just relaxing and talking with God, and I asked him again, I said, what was the last part of this dream that you gave me? I don't understand it. And all of a sudden, this song came into my head, glory, glory, and like, it's just talking about glory, and it hit me. Oh, you were, it was an answered prayer of showing me his glory. Because I've been praying that and asking him for about a week now if I can, Lord, I just want to see your glory. You know, I, and I told him, um, where is Oreo? Like, if I can just see how Oreo is. Or, you know, just, um, I want to show me your glory, God, you know. And... So anyway, in this dream, um, my mom and I and my son were driving, and we arrived at our destination, and I remember it was a huge mountain, and I looked all the way up, and there was like this hotel at the very top, and there was like a little light pole, and I was surprised that this little light pole lights up the whole thing. And so, in this hotel, it looked very expensive. It was very rich. And so, I'm like, okay, Mom, you know, prepare, because we got to go all the way up this mountain. we got to get to that top. So, we ended up walking and climbing up this mountain to go all the way to the top. And it was, as I got there, it was as if it was ho many hotel rooms, like, I mean, mansions, like house. I mean, it was just, it was so huge. I remember seeing pillars, and I remember as I was walking, um, there was a servant, a woman servant, who met us, and she was like, okay, like, she was coming to take me, to take us somewhere, and she said, she stays over here she stays over here and you guys I remember as I was walking I'm looking to the right and I see like a dog water park and it, it didn't hit me where I was and I just remember I was like wow like she is lucky like wow this is awesome and then I remember seeing like you know watered fountains of water like I mean, just, it was a rich place, and I remember seeing uh, glass doors, and my son, with excitement, he said, are we going to see Oreo? Are we, are we going to see Oreo? And I didn't say anything to him. So then, I get to the room, and there were a bunch of dogs. I don't remember if my dog was there or not, but I remember there were a bunch of dogs from small to medium to really big. And the owner, and so this, so they call this house that I was at the father's house. <laughs> and they called it the father's house, but it didn't hit me where I was. And um, and then after like, so then I'm inside this house, and the owner, the owner of the house, I didn't get a good look at him, 
But I saw that he was feeding the dogs. He was laying down food for the dogs. And I asked him if he wanted me to help feed the dogs. And that was when I woke up. And so, I'm going to read to you some scripture just for that dream. In John 14, 2, 3. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. John 4.14 4, But whoever drinks of the water I shall give him will never thirst. So I'm sharing that um, this scripture because as whenever I was walking and I was going past those fountains, I looked to my mother and I said, "We will never go thirsty again." <laughs> so in John 4:14 it says, "But whoever drinks of the water that I give him will never thirst, but the water that I shall give him." will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. And then in Revelation 3.12, because I told you I remember seeing pillars, so many, so many pillars. He who overcomes, I will make him a pillar in the temple of my God and he shall go out no more. And I'm going to share that part with you because it was as if I wasn't leaving this place. I knew that this was my destination. Like we said, we arrived at our destination. And I knew I wasn't leaving. I wasn't going anywhere. And so that's my first dream.